at the Mary the Botanic Garden at the Crystal Bridge, and in the bridge here we have all kinds of neat tropical plants, a lot of unique plants that most people would never ever grow. And one of the plants that we have, that we're looking at today, is the chocolate plant. Uh, the, the plant that we actually get the chocolate bean from. It's really quite interesting. Nate here has opened one up for us um, to show us what it looks like. Tell us a little bit about what we're finding inside. So we have the seeds, but they're actually covered by this white pulp. And it's the white pulp that gives the seeds their uh, sweet chocolatey flavor. So in order to make chocolate out of these, uh, this fruit, what they do is they take a whole bunch of these pods, scoop out all the seeds, throw them in a big pile, cover them with banana leaves, and let that sit and ferment. Ah. The, uh, the pulp will break down and get soaked up by the seeds, and then they ship it off to like Hershey, Pennsylvania, where they roast the seeds, and then you have cocoa nibs. They take the cocoa nibs and press them, and separate it into cocoa powder mm. and uh, cocoa butter. And then they remix that together with sugar and milk, and you got chocolate. How interesting. So if you just ate the seeds like right now, how they are, they'd be really bitter. They have to go through that long process first. They can hang on, they can stay on the tree for a long time. They can stay on the tree a long time. They, they mm. just go pick them when they turn orange. Okay. Start out green. And so this, this pulpy material, pulpy, pulpy stuff on our surrounding seed is really... Yeah, you can eat that now. Just don't bite into the seed. Just don't eat the seed, but that's really, really sweet. Yeah, it's rather sweet. It doesn't they make taste a, anything like chocolate. Yeah, they make, a, <laughs> they make a nice sweet drink out of this in the tropical areas. Okay, very good. Well, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.